So every, every cell in the body has these little proteins on its surface called ion channels. And these little, uh, these little proteins can open and close in place. And when they open and close, they can let certain charged, uh, charged molecules, such as potassium, chloride, sodium, protons, and so on, they can let them in and out. And based on which ones go in and out, that determines the charge imbalance across the cell membrane. So in most cells, there are more negative charges inside than there are outside. That gradient is powered by metabolism. It's powered by, by the food you, you eat. And, and ultimately, every cell uh, has, to, has to keep up that voltage gradient. One of the implications of this is that all of these electrical phenomena can only be measured in the living state. So unlike genome, uh, genomic information or uh, RNA information or protein information, which you can get from a dead fixed cell, right? You can recover these molecules and read them out. The bioelectrical uh, properties are literally the spark of life. They, they are gone. The minute the cell dies, they're gone. And so in the living state, that me metabolic um, process is, sets up this voltage gradient. And then that, that's, just, that's just the baseline of having the juice on, so to speak, right? After that, these channels will open and close to modulate it the way that you would in, in any kind of communications device. So you modulate that electrical signal and you also have ways for that electrical signal to propagate to your neighbor. So, so, so cells can sense or read each other's voltage potentials. And very much like in the brain, these electrical states propagate outwards. There are waves that of, of propagating changes. There are uh, memory events where a cell will, uh, for example, change its voltage and then stay that way long after the stimulus that changed it is gone, right? So that's a basic memory uh, process. And the the one of the most important things to know about this is that these ion channels, some of these ion channels, so, so we know that ion channels determine the voltage because they are the ones that let the charges in and out to change that, that, that battery across the cell memory. But many of these ion channels are themselves gated, meaning opened or closed by the voltage state. So it's kind of this bi-directional loop where the channels both determine and are themselves determined by the voltage. And that means that what you have is a voltage-gated current conductance. Uh, said another way, it's a transistor. That's all a transistor is, is a voltage-gated current conductance. And so what evolution discovered really early on, right around the time of bacterial biofilms, is that when you, cre when you create this amazing little molecular machine that is a voltage-gated current conductance, you can now very easily build feedback loops, memory circuits, uh, all kinds of amazing things that we now exploit in our computer technology, Ev evolution, like with many things, beat us, beat us to it. That's um, what, once you have these kind of transistors, you can build anything, right? That's what that's what we now know. Any comp computation can be done that way.